I am back. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here, general manager and lead analyst at the world's largest online sports handicapping community. Already gave you the free pick for the Super Bowl in case you missed it. It is going to be the under between the Saints and the Colts. But now I want to talk about proposition plays. You know, recently moved to Vegas, of course, been coming to Vegas only about 15 times every NFL and college football season each of the past seven or eight years. It's a second home. But, you know, when it comes to the Super Bowl, everybody thinks that people just come and wager on the game. Not so, guys. Do you realize nearly one-third of the total monies wagered on the game are on proposition plays here in Nevada? Nearly one-third of the money's wagered on proposition plays. People love the proposition plays. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. Proposition plays, I've got 17 pages of proposition plays here for you right now. There are all types of wild and wacky proposition plays. The problem with them, a lot of them, they're just designed to take money out of your pocket. Now, when I look at proposition plays, I look at one specific thing. I am looking for proposition plays that are gonna give me plus money. Because here's why. Most of these proposition plays are designed to be near even money propositions. For example, let me give you one. Peyton Manning in the Super Bowl. His over under figure for the number of yards he's going to pass for is set at 305. Well, it's a minus 115 proposition, the over or the under. Same thing with Drew Brees. His over-under figure is 285.5 yards in the Super Bowl. It's minus 115 over or under. The coin flip, for goodness sakes, heads or tails, minus 115 over or under. Well, guys, why would you waste your time betting on these frivolous type of proposition plays when it's a 50-50 proposition? You can go ahead on the same 50-50 proposition and go ahead and wager on the game itself. My thought here, and it always has been on the proposition plays, is this. They are designed to simply take more money out of your pocket. Think of it as no different as when you go in and you're buying a piece of stereo or video equipment. The salesperson is always trying to add the add-ons, the speaker wire, the glass cleaning fluid, all the extra stuff, because that's where the company makes the money. Well, bookmakers make their money through the proposition plays because I think a lot of you out there will probably play 10 to 15 proposition plays and I guarantee you most of you will go right around 500. You'll go 8 and 6, you'll go 8 and 7, some of you will go 5 and 7, but you'll always come within a couple of uh, games or proposition plays of being 500. And that's the problem. When they're even money proposition plays, you're costing yourself money on the juice. What I say is you find the games that are, or the proposition plays that are plus money that are designed, like betting a baseball underdog, for example, to make your money on the take back. So let me go over some of them for you. Peyton Manning, will he or will he not throw a touchdown pass in the third quarter, in the third quarter of the game? Well, the yes option is plus $1.45. I love that proposition play, guys. If I'm going to put money down on there, absolutely, plus $1.45 that Manning is going to throw a touchdown pass in the third quarter of the game. Will either team, the Saints or the Colts, score three straight times without the other team scoring? It could be a touchdown, a field goal, a field goal, three touchdowns in a row, three field goals in a row. You get the drift, right? Well, I say no is the answer. I don't see either team scoring three times in a row, and to wager on no, it's plus $1.45. Play, play 100, win $1.45. Get my drift? First score of the game. Will it be a touchdown? Well, geez, guys, you would never wager that. You're playing 250 to win 100. But I think it's going to be a field goal. You know, the Colts started off in, with a field goal in each of their first two playoff games against the Jets and the Ravens. I always look at the Super Bowl as this way. Generally, the first quarter is extremely low scoring, and you never will find a coach that, given the opportunity, is going to pass up a chance to put points on the board. So even if it means they're going to settle for a field goal, they're going to do it. And if you go for the field goal option in this proposition play, it's plus $1.90. Now, I've got more of these proposition plays for you in just a moment. But first, guys, again, and I've told you all season long about the phenomenal contest we are running in conjunction with the Golden Nugget Hotel Casino here in Las Vegas for a free, all expenses paid getaway weekend, a high rollers getaway weekend for one lucky winner. 
every 30 days. And what's included? Not only a high roller suite at the beautiful downtown Las Vegas Golden Nugget, but VIP check-in, VIP limo transportation to and from the airport, and two free tickets to Gordy Brown's tremendous show at the Golden Nugget. We have been running this contest since September. In fact, if you check out the website, you'll see the big playoff party we had there at the Golden Nugget. See all the pictures of Steve Budin and all the other guys that were there and many of our handicappers and all our fans that we had in early January. Guys, this is a totally free contest. No purchase is necessary. All you've got to do is go to the website, look in the upper right-hand corner, click on the entry spot, enter your email address and your personal information. Every 30 days, the Golden Nugget is going to pick one lucky winner. And again, you're going to get a high rollers giveaway, a suite for free for the weekend, VIP limo transportation to and from the airport, VIP check-in, no waiting in line for you, and of course, two free tickets to Gordy Brown's show. Golden Nugget is where I play. It's where I have always stayed over the years, and I'm telling you, it is a great place to go. No phony plastic volcanoes, no phony people, and a great sports book. Beautiful, brand new Rush Tower as well. Check it out online. No purchase necessary, so go ahead and enter the contest. More proposition plays for you. I think one of the most discussed ones this week is total sacks by both teams because of the situation involving Dwight Freeney of the Colts. Will he play? Is he going to be near 50% because of the torn ligament in his ankle? Well, the over-under for sacks is three and a half. Now, here's what I'm thinking here, guys. You know, Peyton Manning was only sacked 10 times total during the regular season. Now, in the postseason, he was sacked twice by the Jets, twice by the Ravens. You saw how Greg Williams, the, Arizona, uh, the New Orleans defensive coordinator, brought the heat and constantly pressured Brett Favre in the NFC Championship game, and that was playing at home. I've got to think that Williams is going to do the exact same thing here. Well, the over-under is three and a half, so let's just say I've got to get two sacks of both Manning and Breeze. Even though both quarterbacks have tremendously fast, quick releases, I would say let's go with the over of three and a half because I'm getting plus money again on this proposition of plus 200. Will there be a defensive or special teams touchdown scored in the game? Well, you know, two of the last three Super Bowls there has been. So I'm going to go with yes. I'm going to plunk down my money plus money again at plus $1.45. Here's one for you, MVP. Well, guys, if you believe the Colts are going to win this game, you certainly are not going to bet on Peyton Manning to be the MVP. It would be the obvious choice. He's been an MVP winner before, as has his brother Eli of the Giants a few years ago, because it's a one-to-two proposition, right? But how about this? How about Reggie Wayne at 10-1? to 1? How about Pierre Garçon coming off that huge game in the AFC title uh, contest against the Jets at 15-1? to 1? You joke about a wide receiver? Well, keep this in mind. Three of the last five years, wide receivers have won the MVP. Last year, it was Santonio Holmes. Uh, back in 2006, it was Heinz Ward of Pittsburgh. Back in 2005, it was Deion Branch of New England. Uh, of course, the other two years, it was a quarterback, Eli and Peyton. By the way, if you think the Saints are going to win this game, well, guys, you've got to go with Drew Brees. He's paying three to one as the MVP choice. Yeah, you could go with like Reggie Bush at 15 to one, but seriously, let's go with Drew Brees. And then one of my favorite bizarre proposition plays, and I've won this play three straight years. It's the over under and how long the national anthem will take to be sung. Carrie Underwood of the country singer, the American Idol former winner, is going to be singing it this year. Guys, the over-under is a minute and 42 seconds. So here's the breakdown. The minute it was announced that Carrie Underwood is going to be singing this, I was immediately on YouTube, just like I was last year when Jordan Sparks was singing another American Idol winner as well. When the 06 Major League Baseball All-Star Game, she sung it in a minute 38. In an NFL game at Quest Field in Seattle in, 19, in 2006, she sang it in a minute 41. In Game 3 of the World Series a couple years ago at Colorado, she sang it in a minute 34. Well, guys, I'm going to go with the under here because she doesn't have a big voice. She doesn't extend her notes. I don't see her ringing out those final notes because, remember, it's the opening O until the final O. That's how they judge it. It's minus $1.50. That's the one favorite I would take on the prop play, the national anthem to stay under. Those are your prop plays. Best of luck, guys. Remember, the under is the freebie, and I'll catch you again next week right here.